It's called sextortion. Predators on social media befriending young people, getting screen grabs of them in various states of undress on the Internet, then coercing them to send graphic pictures of themselves and more and more graphic images. In one case alone, nearly 350 teen girls victimized. And while nearly a third of them have been found, the FBI needs your help. Some of those victims could be right here in New Hampshire. I just remember getting this message that the subject line said something about naked pictures and that he has of me. And that's how Ashley Reynolds said she became a victim of sex torsion when she was just 14, all at the hands of this man, 31-year-old Lucas Michael Chancellor. Chancellor threatening to ruin her life by spreading graphic pictures that he got of her online, unless she gave him even more graphic pictures. And it was pure business it felt like like it, it was an exchange I I gave him the pictures and I got to keep my reputation Ashley says it seemed this so-called business deal went on forever felt forced to comply she says or else her life would be ruined I never wanted to send them or like have give him what he wanted but I wanted my freedom I guess we had never seen anything like this before Chancellor of the FBI says provoking, harassing, threatening Ashley and the hundreds of others during a three-year period ending in 2010. His victims across the U.S., four in Massachusetts, some in Canada, others in the U.K. Agents say he was definitely cyber savvy and flew under their radar, and he knew exactly how to terrorize his victims. That's how a lot of times these young girls got on the slippery slope of would be a relatively benign picture of exposing their breasts to uh, fulfilling his um, perverted desires. Right now, the FBI has identified and found roughly a third of those victims and desperately trying to find the rest so they can give them some sense of closure. They don't have to be looking over their shoulder thinking, is this guy still out there? Is he looking for me? Is he going to be coming back? As for Ashley, she's telling her story to let the other victims know it's okay to come forward just like she did. This is something that came into my life and as horrible and bad as it is, I know that like I want, like I can help. Chancellor pled guilty to several counts of making child porn. He's been sentenced to 105 years in prison. If you have any information that can help investigators locate the remaining victims, you're urged to contact either the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children or the FBI. We have posted links to their contact information on our website, nh1.com. Do you have something you'd like us to investigate? Were you the victim of fraud, bad business, or a scam? We'd like to hear from you. The email address, news at nh1.com.